Welcome back guys. Here we have another box fan comparison. I'm going to be comparing the older weather shield motor on this side to the newer weather shield motor on this side. I already have the blade assembled. I'm going to be testing this one over here first, which is the newer weather shield PSC motor. I'm going to be eliminating any variables like the grill design. So I'm going to have no grills on them, just run them uh, with the blade spinning, nothing, uh, no grills or anything. So this one right here, if it'll focus, is the older PSC motor. This is the one that Lasco used to put in their fans. It is the traditional style motor, nothing really special about it. I just need to clean it a little bit, but uh, it is a pro motor, branded Lasco. Meanwhile, this one over here has the newer motor. It's a different design. It is the inside style windings, if that's what you want to call it. Let me flip it around. It doesn't want to stand up, but it is this style motor. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Yeah, and then it's got some capacitor information. Oh, I think I gotta flip it. All right, so here is the capacitor information right there. So this is a motor made from 2022. I have no idea when this motor was made. It doesn't really have any capacitor information that I can speak of. Um, that's all the information right there. And I got to flip it upside down. It's got a sticker right there, which is cool. I've done this comparison between the McMillan motor and the PSC motor. The McMillan motor was faster. Actually, interestingly, I found that the PSC motor outperformed the McMillan motor when it had a flimsier blade set on it. So that's interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this one on high speed. Then I'm going to run this one on high speed. I'm going to swap the blades so you can compare the RPMs closer and see which one is has the advantage. Also, I'm testing these motors while they're cold still. So that way we can get the peak performance out of them. Because if these motors were warm, we probably wouldn't be getting peak uh, performance out of them. I'm trying to make this comparison as apples to apples as I can. And I'm trying to eliminate any variables just so we can test out the motor to, to isolate the motor as the cause. Okay, I'm going to start this one on high speed. All right, now we're gonna start this one on high speed. I'm going to start this one on medium now. All right, now we're gonna do medium.
Now I'm going to start this one on low. Now it's time for low. So it appears to me that, yes, the older motor is definitely more powerful than the newer one on high speed. Now, interestingly, it actually seems to be a bit slower on low speed. It's not a bad thing. It actually just indicates it has a larger range in the speeds. And both motors appear to be lubricated pretty well. So I don't think lubrication is a factor here. It just makes sense that the newer motor consumes less power. I did also want to mention that the capacitors are slightly different. This one, the newer one, uses a 6 microfarad capacitor. The older one uses a 5 microfarad capacitor. And yeah, the newer motor is under 1 amp. It's about 0.92 to 0.95 amps. This one is actually over 1 amp. It's about 1.1 to 1.2 amps. And the wattage is also higher on the older one too. And both of these motors will far outperform the larger capacitor uh, 3733 motors you might see out there. It is nowhere near these, especially the older PSC motor. It destroys the larger capacitor motors. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next upload, whenever the hell be.